Okay, I've talked a lot about Tampa Bay and their incredible season, what Arians, Brady, Bowles have done there, uh, their game with Green Bay. I haven't said much here because, honestly, the Bills were overmatched in experience. Uh, their coaches didn't have a good game plan, and those are good coaches there, both on offense and defense, and they've done a great job all year. I detailed some of it in previous videos. Uh, they weren't ready for this. I don't think uh, their defensive coordinator and, and defense and their head coach was ready for... Uh, I mean, I think they were scared of, uh, to be honest, of Mahomes and his talent and Andy Reid's great offensive scheme. And you can't blame them, but you can't play scared. Very conservative on defense. Uh, that just ate them alive. And then on off on f offense, I don't think they expected Spagnuolo's uh, incredible aggression. He was blitzing like a maniac and changing coverages like he always does and making a lot of good play calls and even blitzing late in the game when it was a blowout. And, make, and then showing a conservative look and then all of a sudden bringing it or showing a big blitz and then backing off in a conservative look passive aggressive and he he really I mean they started to adjust later in the game but it took a while and it was like too little too late so I want to just take a quick look here though I do want to look a little bit at them I've said a lot about Andy Reid in the past he's a BYU grad he's all about the west coast but in the BYU style which was what ended up leading to the air raid which is really the ultimate pass spread that everybody uses now combined with power the power spread um, so Andy Reid's had more to do. I mean, Harbaugh kind of initiated it, uh, John Harbaugh with San Francisco, and some other coaches were pre, pre preluding to it. But Andy Reid's really the one who cemented the power spread within the game of the NFL. And of us, it's not just about a running quarterback, and it's not just about any one kind of scheme. And that's what makes him so good. He combines all of it. Uh, and I think I would call Andy had a pro PS scheme, one of the first. Before that, it was like a fractured thing. It was like the NFL teams were doing a little power spread or spread mixed with their pro stuff and West Coast stuff. And it was very multiple. That When they used to say multiple, that sort of meant fractured. <laughs> like we have a little this, little that, not really quite meshed. Andy Reid really started to mesh it. And it was a PS pro, I called it. And then I'd say now it's, I'm sorry, I called it a pro PS because it was based on the pro. Now it's more like a PS pro with Andy anyway, not everybody. So I'd almost say Andy was like pro PS 2020, some stuff towards the future. This was a few couple of years ago. Now it's like PS Pro 2020 as we're moving into the 2020s. And eventually, I think it's going to become a full PS that you haven't seen um, in the NFL or in college yet. And there's some coaches in college leading it in the college style. And the college and the NFL will always be a, be a little bit different. But they are actually closer in similarities of scheme now than they've been since like 1930s. So it's been a long time that they've been split ever since the quarterback became the big deal on the team, which was in the 1940s. So uh, Andy here, speaking of the 1940s, asked a modern T formation, George Hallis and the Bears, Sid Luckman, the quarterback, and we see a little of that in here too. So first we get Hill in motion. This is classic West Coast from Sid Gilman, going back before even Bill Walsh, okay? And then he pulls back into here. This is crazy. This is like something you might have seen in the 1940s, even the 1930s. You might have seen this in the single wing trickery, or the, but more like the modern T stuff. And so he pulls back into the tailback position here. And now we, you know, we don't really have a spread, but that's a spread idea. It kind of is because there's three receivers. One guy's in motion. It's like a mini spread. But now he's pulled back into this position. This is the power spread because we're going to just power right up with zone blocking, it looks like. But it looks almost like a draw because they're pass blocking. So obviously it's just a play action fake. But that's sort of like the power spread type of thing. And the running back flips out into the flat. This is also a rub route, which is the classic West Coast from Bill Walsh. And you get a little everything. Watch this receiver here rubbing off this guy who has him man to man. See? So <laughs> um, it's all interesting stuff. Uh, the, the motion actually kind of tells you what the defense might be doing. You could see they were in zone over here, but I guess it was man in here. Look how deep that safety is. Too conservative again. Um, on fourth and one especially, but he was scared. That's playing scared. Anyway, but yeah, little little fake to Hill draws everyone. And you may wonder why this little guy is drawing so much attention for a power move. Because if there's a teeny crack in here, gone. That's the problem there. So you use him as a decoy. Another thing, um, uh, Reed does amazing. He uses his stars as a decoy. What player... What, the fans remember in the broadcasters is the big plays of the big players well the problem first of all is Kansas City has a lot of big players that's number one but number two is 
it doesn't necessarily true. I mean, they were used as a decoy a lot. Then they'll go back to them and make a big play. So it's just like an accordion effect, in, out. You can spread the field wide, go back in, spread it deep, come back short, use the stars, then don't use the stars, and use them as decoys. I mean, mix and match, move it around, keep it going, man. Aggressive variety. And a little play action, dink, uh, first down. Okay. Then we'll move up to another one where heels in motion at the goal line. Uh, let's see, there it is, perfect, and here he comes. Motion, back to tailback, right? No, nope. this time we're gonna go spreading out like this. This is more of a spread. Now we've got a real spread. Two receivers over here, little motion. So the last one looked more like a power bunch. That's almost like spread power with the power brace. This is more power spread, because the spread, it's a spread set. The last one was a power set. So that was the root, the power, but you're spreading with the power. This is more like you're powering with the spread. So it's just the opposite concept. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I don't even think Andy would know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he would say, what is all this spread power? But he knows what he's doing. I mean, he absolutely understands what he's doing. And I think he would get what I'm saying in two seconds once I, you know, whatever. But I'm just laughing. So, you know, they have these pulling guys. I mean, look at this heavy power here, man. <laughs> and just right up the guess it's classic power spread. Just this is what it was all about in the beginning. Even the read option from Rich Rodriguez with the quarterback. You know, I'll never forget when I saw all the spreading around the 2000s. And all of a sudden, the quarterback's doing a read option and the running back's running straight up. I'll never forget it was like an 80-yard run straight up the middle. Both of the sides of the defense were running the one side or the other. Whoops, sorry about that. We're running to one side or the other. Boom, boom. I was showing my girlfriend. I was like, look at this. Look at this. She's like, okay, calm down. I'm like... It's incredible. It's just so simple and so brilliant and such a great concept. And you're meshing two things together that are dynamic opposite, opposition. They're opposites, They're, but they work to, dynamically together as one. Hey, sounds like something like the universe, right? How we work together as a one, as a life, as an existence. It's a big picture concept. All right. Boom, boom. I mean, they're Buffalo, and they're kind of dejected. At, oh, no, they're not dejected. This game's still close. I don't know what's going on. They're just getting blasted. Well, Oh, yeah, I remember. Cause this drive, there was so much stuff going on by Andy Reid, uh, tricks, and, and, and they're, at this point, they're on their hills. They're completely on their hills at this point. That's why. They're just standing back like, where, what, where is it going? See, these guys, they're watching Hill. Whoa, Hill, the star, look at this. Edmonds is right out of the hole there, that linebacker. Milano's like, oh, what's going on here? They're also looking at Mahomes. Oh, is Mahomes going to run? Is this an, a read option, or is this a... RPO, because he could throw out here. This is a combination read option and RPO. Look what all this is. This is the full power spread, the full effect, or the beginnings of it. Still like a PS 2020. We haven't seen it fully yet, but we're getting there, and Andy Reid's getting there quick. So I just love that. Okay. Last but not least, we got a little, what, the new guy that I found that I like a lot, J.T. O'Sullivan, his YouTube quarterback school. Um, calls this a power read. I guess you can call it that power read option. I, I don't know. I don't really know. It doesn't, I, you know, the point is you get, what do you got? Hill in motion again. Okay. And he's back reverse motion the other way. Oh, he's going to get the ball, right? Um, no. <laughs> oh, wait, this guy, they can throw it out to him. Um, no. What is this? Is he going to run Mahomes? Is this a read option? Is it a fly sweep? And, you know, all that motion, too. You're just, what? Because Gilman would go in motion, Sid Gilman's offense, but then back again, the reverse motion? Is that BYU stuff? I don't know. Is this power spread? But wait a minute. It's not even a spread set, so it's more like spread power, right? Yeah. This is more of a bunch set, but you have three receivers, but it's kind of a spread power. We don't know what this is. Well, it's full power spread. We don't know where this ball's going. Here, here, or here. Oops. A little underhanded to here. And everybody loves the idea of the underhand. And, and what I like about it? You're trying everything you're allowed to do on the field. You're taking the rules and you're spreading it out. You're doing all the spread to find the power in the game. The power within the rules. That's Walter Camp. We go back to Walter Camp, the original rules master. He, he developed this game. He turned it from rugby soccer into this. And, you know, I mean, eventually he didn't make up the pass and everything. But that was all there, ready to go. So here we go. This is ready to go, too. We can do it underhanded. We're allowed. And you know what? I'll break that down one time. I would like to know, like, what's the point? Well, because it's easy, obviously. I'm just thinking about it. Try to throw it overhand right there. What would, that wouldn't make any sense. It's just easy and it's quick. It's, it's just, just good, man. It's got such good concepts to it. It's not about just that it worked and you got a touchdown and Andy Reid's winning. If Andy Reid was 4-12, and 12, I'd still love this. Uh, Sid Gilman didn't always win, but he innovated the entire game. Francis Schmidt, huge innovator, 1930s, taught the new offense the new style of 
offense that could do so many things um, didn't necessarily win all the time. So it's not always about the w winning when you're evolving. But Andy Reid's able to win as well, so great stuff. And going to be tough for Todd Bowles, the great defensive coordinator for Tampa, but he will not let that offense dictate to him. I'd be shocked. If he does, they're going to get killed. I mean, that's what happened with the Bills. You can't let them dictate, and you will give up big plays. You will, and you will give up touchdowns and yards, but you're going to get big plays, and you've got to shake them up too. Like he shook up Aaron Rodgers, Todd Bowles, in the other videos. He's got to shake this guy up a little bit, Mahomes and these guys. Make it like when he wants to throw it underhand, he's got a massive blitz coming. I can't do that, so he runs. Now Mahomes is so athletic, he might get a touchdown from running around like a maniac, or he might get sacked. you got to take a chance. Risk, reward. No risk, no reward. And there's no way around it. Universal concept.